Hello everyone! On this video I'm going to talk to you about colors and few types on Gravity Designer. When selecting an element, you will find the color picker on the inspector panel. To open the picker, click on this colored circle. The color picker will open and this is where you can choose a color, change the hue and transparency and insert color codes. On the menus on the top, you can change the color mode and the type of fill. The first type is the solid color, that comes selected by default. The next type is linear gradients. You can create a simple gradient between two colors and add multiple points. To edit each point, click on the gradient stop, and to add new stops, click anywhere on the gradient bar. To delete a gradient stop point, click and drag it off the gradient bar. To change the opacity of a gradient stop point, click it and use the opacity slider. You can also reverse the gradient and rotate. Alternatively, you can change the direction of the gradient by moving the handles on the object, and add new stops directly there too. The next kind of fill is the radial gradient. You can add, remove, reverse or change gradient stop points in the same manner as for linear gradients. The two gradient handles start from the center of the object and extend to its ends. Only one handle is active at a time and with this one you can change the direction and color stops. The blue handle is for changing the center point of the gradient. The next type of fill is angular gradient, which is a sweeping circular gradient. The center point moves the center of the gradient, and the outer points will change where the gradient starts and ends. Another kind of fill is texture, where you can use images or objects as texture fill for the elements. The next kind of fill is noise, which adds small dots to create a granular texture. The last kind of fill available is background fill. When applying this to a shape, it will look invisible, but this can be used as a selection area for effects, for example, applying blur to an area with the background still showing. Still on the color picker you can find color palettes. This first tab, color, has a set of predefined colors. On the second tab we have swatches that can be customized. You can add global swatches for all files and one specific for your current file. Select a color and click the plus icon to add it as a swatch. Swatches can be imported and exported. The next tab is In Use, that shows colors currently used as fills on your file. The last tab is Mixer, which provides useful variations of a selected color. You can add as many fills as you want, clicking on the plus icon here, and make each one with different settings. To delete any of the fields, select it and click on the trash can icon, or drag it out of the panel. All features on the color picker are also available for borders and also for some effects, like shadows. That's it for this video, I hope you liked it! Be sure to subscribe to Gravit's channel and see you on the next video!